Was the resurrection of Jesus nothing more than the story of a good man raised by God? If it was more than that, then who and what was Jesus? And what happened exactly? Did God raise Jesus or did Jesus raise himself? The apostles called Jesus Lord and Master. And when Jesus asked, who do you say I am? Peter burst out, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. But he still did not understand that Jesus was one with the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. Theology is the study of God and of religious beliefs. And like any other science, our understanding of theology develops. The basic facts, the truth does not change, but our world changes and our understanding of the truth changes. In the very early Christian hymn quoted by St. Paul in Philippians chapter 2, verses 6 to 11, we read that God the Son emptied himself, came down from heaven and suffered. And as a reward, God raised him higher than the angels. This is the simplest statement of what happened. It's the easiest to teach and to believe. And of course, it is poetic. It is a hymn. All it says is that Jesus is more than human. Our understanding of the resurrection has developed just as scientific understanding of other things has developed. For example, take the history of gravity. A few thousand years ago, Aristotle's theory was that anything, when it is not constrained, not tied down or forced, tends to go to its natural place. And that for physical things like you and me, the natural place is down, not up. So if I feel weak, I fall down, I don't fall up. But for some things, for example, the flames of fire or smoke, the natural place is up, not down. This theory was true in a sense, but it was not true enough. And eventually in the 17th century, our understanding of gravity greatly developed. It is like the egg of an insect that's attached to a leaf. The egg becomes a caterpillar and the caterpillar turns into a moth. It's not one teaching turning into something else, but our understanding, like an embryo, developing into its adult form. By the time the creed came to be written down, the fact that Jesus Christ is God was what Christians believed. So it was possible and it was right to say that Jesus had risen from the dead rather than Jesus was raised from the dead. That old hymn in the letter to the Philippians is not wrong, which is why we still recite it. Since Jesus is God, it follows that God raised him and he raised himself are just about the same thing. This is what the development of doctrine is. It does not mean changing our minds, but unfolding our understanding of things thinking more deeply about what we already know. Jesus did not come back to life, to this life that ends in death. He came forward to life, to risen life, to eternal life. He did not undo his death as the deaths of Lazarus and the others were undone. At the resurrection, history went forwards, not backwards. Faced with the crucifixion and the passion, God did not undo them. So God's action in the world can only ever be by way of going forwards, never backwards. The suffering and death of Jesus did actually happen. And the marks of the nails are still on the body of the man who sits on the throne of the universe. In the next talk, I'll try to explain why we say he rose in accordance with the scriptures.